We're here outside the Canoe Valley Recreation Center for Winter Festival 2023 and I'm here with Marcy Downs and Samantha Travers. Uh, Marcy is the Executive Director of Tourism Valmont and uh, Sam Travers is the Marketing Director for the Valmont and Area Chamber of Commerce. So uh, welcome ladies. Thank you. Thank you very much and thank you for being here today. You bet. So this uh, Unfortunately, with COVID and other things, we haven't had a winter festival for a number of years. How does it feel to get it back on its feet again? Fantastic. It's great to get the community back together and uh, have the barriers put down. How was it? How was awesome! It? <laughs> recommended. Highly recommended. Okay. Were you uh, pleased with the turnout? Yeah, it was an incredible turnout with the children. We had over 100 kids come upstairs to the craft area and the dog sledding is going off without a hitch, so it's really great.
what were all the activities that you had today, Marcy? We had uh, snowshoeing races, cross-country ski races. We had the dog sledding. We also had public skating. There was hockey going on. Um, there was a bunch of children's activities upstairs. The curling rink also hosted an event as well, and they had people able to drop rocks and learn how to do curling too. Oh, the Part of slap shot came in too. That's yeah. correct, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you hope to do this as an annual event? That would be great. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's There's such a need in the community to bring everybody together and just to really promote the area. And to have something really fun to do um, in winter is really nice as well. A great community event and for local tourism as well. Well, let's talk about the sponsors because I know you had some great sponsors and you had tremendous amounts of prizes. It took me forever, it seems like, to get around to, to yeah, film all the prizes. <laughs> overwhelming contributions from the entire community and different organizations. It's just blessed to have it. And a very special thank you to Lord Co. as well. Um, they sponsored the event. And then we also had Tim Hortons here. Proceeds are going to minor hockey. And then so many just pitched in to sponsor the raffle prizes as well. Yeah, lots of people just wanted to be a part of it, to participate and bring the community together, including the communities to the north and south of us, McBride and Blue River, also chimed in and pitched in gifts and raffles to prizes for us, which is great community spirit to involve them as well. And did you want to say anything about the volunteers? I saw lots of people helping. So many volunteers, yeah. so many volunteers, so many to thank. We couldn't do these options. We couldn't do this without volunteers. People don't realize it takes a village to pull off these kind of things and a dozen or more volunteers to make it happen. So to all of those volunteers, thank you so much. Yes, we really thank you. And the really cool thing is that we had volunteers from all ages, which is, yeah. it was just amazing. Yeah, lots yeah. of kids from the high school and the older yeah. grades from the school pitched in for the kids' crafts. Uh, just some really seniors great. as well. Yep, yeah, some seniors great. here, and of course the usual volunteers that we always have. Right, right. Yeah. Mark, get set, go! Do you want to make a pitch for next year right now? Winterfest 2024! <laughs> yep, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs>